Hey guys, this is Adam Lane with TalkNow.com. Next up, we're going to look at Bing, uh, Internet Explorer, and the Marketplace on Windows Phone 7. So here we are with Bing. You can get to this just by pressing the search button down here. From most programs that do not have a contact sensitive search, so basically the home page anywhere else besides uh, music and video marketplace email and contacts or people rather so here we are we get the bin we get the little updates little messages about this picture and it does landscape we have a microphone up here for a uh, voice where we can type stuff so let's try the voice. Best Buy. And there it goes. We got some Best Buy results. And it has a, it automatically went to local. So here's our local Best Buys. And we can swipe to see uh, websites about Best Buy. There's the Best Buy website or news. Okay, so let's go to local and you can see should be a little map. There's an address reading directions for my location. You can call them. There's the website and here here's the hours. So that's really good. You can pin this to your start menu or you can share it on email. There's the map. Here's some reviews. And you can see what else is nearby. How about a Starbucks? How about movies? How about Uno? There's the map. Okay, so that's Bing. You can do all sorts of searches. Now let's try Internet Explorer. So let's do, let's just go to the web results and load up the Best Buy web page. I'm on the AT&T internet connection, I believe. No, I'm on Wi-Fi. So let's see this load. Anyway, we have a menu. You can add it to favorites, you can view your favorites, you can view your tabs. And here's something interesting that you don't always see. I can totally interact with this even while it's downloading. So see that's not you know, it's a little more than halfway done. But I am totally browsing and reading stuff while it downloads everything else. And everything is really smooth still not finished downloading and I can click on stuff it's gonna abort that finishing the previous web page and now it's gonna start downloading that one it's being a little bit slow there we go so now it's downloading that one but I can also go to my tabs switch to a different page start downloading this one and then go back to that one that one downloaded some stuff and I can read it. this one's still not finished downloading but I'm still I'm still reading it anyway so that's some uh, pretty significant multitasking at least in terms of web browsing Okay, that's still downloading. Let's go back and see what this one's doing. That one's also still downloading. But I can read it anyway. I can read whatever it has displayed. So that's a really cool, great feature. You don't have to wait for it to finish. 
So here's my favorites. Unfortunately, there's no way to sync favorites with your desktop. So you, you might miss out on that feature. And I can add to favorites. Okay, settings I can change uh, which mode I want to be in, mobile version or desktop version. I can delete history, allow cookies, yada yada yada. This one is almost done downloading. We see a lot of pictures there. And this one is finished. There it is. Very smooth. Really nice that you don't have to wait for it to finish downloading before it can do anything. Alright, so lastly, let's look at the marketplace. It's going to load up. And this is where we can buy uh, apps and games and also music. Well, it's taking a little while here. There we go. So there's HTC has their own little section of the marketplace. We also have apps. And there's your all your different categories. Here's the top apps, new apps, featured apps. Oh, there's two updates. Look at that. Updates already. Wow. Well, I can update them all. Let's do that later. There's your games. That's going to give you Xbox Live, top games, new games, free games. Or you can sort by categories. You see while it's loading, it's still totally responsive. There we are. Now let's go to music. So this goes to the Zune marketplace. I don't know if my internet connection, what's going on here? Well, sometimes it loads really quickly. There we are. And there's your Artist of the Week. Here's some featured artists. And here's some new releases. Top albums. And your genres. So let's pick one here. Which one do we want? How about that one? Now I have a Zoom Pass associated with this Windows Live ID. So I, I can just tap this play button and it should stream the whole song or the whole album. But it's also showing buy album. So I can buy it 99 cents each or $10 for the whole thing. But I have a Zoom Pass. I should be able to download these, you know, without having to pay. So where is that button? Here's the secret tip. Tap and hold. Now you get a menu and there it is, download. So I want to do that. So when I do the download, it's going to be DRM protected, but I'll be able to play offline. I don't have to depend on an internet connection. You can see it's pending. There it is, downloading. So that's going to download the whole song, the whole album, uh, with my Zoom Pass so that I can listen to it offline. It's not going to be an MP3 format, but it's going to be something that I can listen to on the train or inside tunnels. So that's the trick.